Your baby is breastfeeding like a champ, but when you go to give a bottle, they refuse it. Babies can be very opinionated about where their milk comes from, but don't panic. This is a problem that can be solved. Here are some tips and tricks to help your baby accept a bottle. Please know that most babies will take a bottle with patience, persistence, and a few tricks up your sleeve. Every baby is different. It may take a magic combination of variables to convince your baby to take a bottle, so the key is to keep trying different things, and if one thing doesn't work, try another. Here are a few things you can change up to see what works for your baby. Change the scene. Some babies prefer to take a bottle in a place that they've never associated with breastfeeding, while others prefer the same exact environment. Try different rooms, go outside, try the car seat, a bath, a bouncy seat, a glider, any place that's different. Sometimes lower lights with relaxing music or a sound machine will do the trick. Get creative. Experiment with different positions. Some babies may only take a bottle in a breastfeeding-like position, while others may prefer to do the total opposite, sitting upright, facing outward. Change up who offers the bottle to see if your baby has a problem with who's offering it. Some babies won't accept a bottle from you because they associate you too much with breastfeeding. Sometimes you can't even be in the same room. On the other end of the spectrum, other babies decide that only you can feed them and they don't care how whether it be breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Play with the bottle temperature. Some babies are just particular about their milk. First aim for body temperature and then adjust up and down and see if it makes a difference. Try out different bottles. Try with a bottle that has a wide base that gradually tapers down to the nipple. See if any of your mom friends have extra bottles you could borrow. You could sterilize it and experiment with it so you don't have to spend a fortune buying bottles that your baby won't take. Try different nipple flows. A slow flow nipple is usually recommended for breastfed babies because it most closely mimics the output of breastfeeding. But if you have a strong letdown, you may want to experiment with different nipple flows. Your baby may accept a bottle better if the flow is faster. Beyond changing up the variables, here are some tips and tricks that could help as well. Offer the bottle for no more than 10 minutes at a time. If your baby still is refusing the bottle and becoming more upset, it's best to back off and try again later. Use a pacifier. If your baby seems bothered by the feeling of a bottle, a pacifier may help them get used to having something different than a breast being in their mouth. Distraction sometimes works. Try to distract the baby with something else as someone offers the bottle. Let your baby play with the bottle between feedings so they get used to the feeling and look of it. Bait and switch. Try breastfeeding first and then sneak in the bottle. Offer the bottle before your baby gets too hungry. New experiences are usually easier to handle when they're well rested, not starving, and not anxious. Try offering it when they're sleepy, already asleep, or just waking up. Many babies will instinctively suckle at these times. There's also a possibility that the milk you're giving your baby doesn't taste quite right to them. Some babies don't like the milk that's been previously frozen. Try pumping fresh milk and offering it to your baby immediately and see if that works. Also, make sure your breast milk doesn't have high lipase level, which can affect the taste of stored milk. If your frozen milk has a rancid smell when thawed, you likely have high lipase. The way to deal with it is to scald the milk before freezing it. Ask an expert for help. Speech pathologists, occupational therapists, and IBCLCs, International Board Certified Lactation Consultants, and also your regular healthcare provider can help. They can assess if there's any medical reasons why your baby isn't taking a bottle properly. And also try thinking outside the bottle. If your baby is under four months old, you could use a spoon, a cup, a syringe, or a finger feeder in place of a bottle. If your baby is older than four months, there's really no need to introduce a bottle if they're not accepting it. 
Babies can generally handle a cup just fine at this age, but expect to help out in the beginning. If your baby is older than six months, you can mix solids with lots of breast milk and see if they'll take it that way. If they're nine months old, you could try teaching your baby to drink from a straw and use a straw cup. Plug one side of the straw with your thumb to pick up a little bit of milk and drop it in their mouth to show them how they can get the milk that way. And after all this, if your baby still prefers the breast, sometimes reverse cycling will happen. This is when a baby will only take small amounts of milk while they're away from their mom and then make up for it once she returns with frequent nursing. This is perfectly fine for the baby as they'll take in the same number of calories in a 24 hour period. You'll know your baby is still getting enough if they do this, if they're still having plenty of light colored, mild smelling wet diapers each day, and if their weight gain stays on track. Just keep trying. Try every single day. More likely than not, one day your baby will just take the bottle like they've been doing it forever. The freebie for this episode are six printable pumping door signs. Stick a cute sign on any door and then you can pump in peace and privacy. Click below to get your signs. And there are lots of other freebies over at our headquarters, milkology.org. Be sure to check it out. Every week here at Milkology, I create a new lactation education video. So if you have any breastfeeding or pumping questions you'd like me to answer, comment below and I'll do my best to make it happen. Subscribe to the channel and always remember, go with the flow.